Good afternoon, everyone. Taking a step back in time, Australian newspaper changes to bring climate upheaval, specifically focusing on cold weather and not being able to feed the population of the planet. First crop losses are starting to show themselves. The vineyards across the entire earth, 20-year lows. German news reports talking about food price increases, but interestingly, all based on solar activity. Expected food prices increasing across the board and a supercell rolling over Panama City. Please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. It's back again, what they were discussing in the 1970s before the prolonged solar maximum of the 1990s and early 2000s. Australian news changes to climate to bring upheaval, specifically focusing on how we're going to be able to feed the world's population as crops have significant changes in agricultural output. Global wine prices to soar. 20-year lows in production because of so much damage across the vineyards, both northern and southern hemispheres. France, of course, and Austria, Switzerland, Germany, all crushed this year by freezes and hail. You know, frost striking with freezing rain. These are the kinds of conditions across all of Europe. And in the Wine Spectator, when they talk about historic damage, you know it's got to be severe. Buds caked in, ice, as well as the hailstorms. Now, there's been smaller hail across France and Central Europe. When it comes down, it just rips everything to shreds, breaks open the skins of the grapes, everything lost during these storms. Now, these are tiny hail that are coming through, and when it's done, it rips the leaves off. Grain, wheats, corn all across Europe this year pummeled by hail, high wind, and massive flooding. And it's just going to continue from here. But when we jump down to the southern hemisphere into Argentina, we'll take a look at the size of the hailstones that their vineyards were damaged with. This is exceptionally large, damaging everything. And now South Africa, that massive hailstorm that wiped out crops down there that just came through. Jumping over to German media... They are talking about food price rises based on solar activity and solar cycles. They even talk about the mini ice age. Through the rest of 2016, these are the minimum price increases that you are going to see for everything from meats all the way down to grains, vegetables, etc. Fruits and nuts across Europe. And then jumping down into the southern hemisphere, especially over in Africa, they're looking at minimum 10%. Price increases overall, some vegetables up almost 20%. These price increases, from my own personal opinion, as my own forecast going forward, are the tip of the iceberg. It is going to increase year upon year from now. These 5%, 10% increases, doubling, tripling as we get into 2017, 2018. By 2019... This is the point where everybody's going to realize that our agricultural production is affected in the grand solar minimums here. This is when the police are going to need to be called out into the street and the protection of food delivery systems and protection of farms globally. And they do a good job of going through area by area to show you exactly how the effects of La Nina, El Nino with the solar minimum, the effects on the rain, the cattle pricing and everything forward all connected on a feedback loop into Excel. And I like the honesty in the report. At least they're pegging it on the grand solar minimum and changes in solar output. But then we come right over here and you do a Google search of rising food prices 2016. You'll come up with about three and a half million pages. Notice page one here, UK food prices rising after Brexit. Food warnings, inflation, food prices, weak loony. All the first 25 pages on Google are all talking about food prices due to currency valuations and political repercussions from votes, etc. There's not even single mention about effects from our sun, effects from El Nino, La Nina, or any of these patterns that we're experiencing right now. It's all currency based. Oh, I think they forgot about all the early freezes across the planet, flooding massive 400 year floods, 
early snowfalls, early freezes, early cold, but it's all because of Brexit. Forget all the other stuff. Speaking of strange anomalies, down near the equator, not normally will you see supercells rolling through, especially over major cities like Panama City. And even earlier in the year going back, you get this incredible wave disturbance coming through. That's twice down there. That seems to be coming the new norm. It doesn't really matter where you are globally, whether you're right near the equator or whether you're fully up at 40, 45 north, everywhere is changing right now. And with that being said, Bob over at Trade Genius is trading specifically off the grand solar minimum effects of our weather and which commodities are specifically increasing in prices right now, like coffee. And also the wheat crops, the protein content is just not there this year. High protein content wheat, there's a premium on that now. He'll be happy to talk to you about the trading strategies that they're using. And as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got something out of it. And please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and I'll keep more research like this coming to you.